Smart Child Zone presents Limits and Calculations We write this and say the limit of fx as x approaches a equals l. If we can make the values of fx arbitrarily close to l by taking x to be sufficiently close to a on either side of a but not equal to a. This says that as x gets closer and closer to the number a from either side of a the values of f, x get closer and closer to the number l. In finding the limit of f, x as x approaches, we never consider x equals a. In fact, f, x need not even be defined when x equals a. The only thing that matters is how f, x is defined near a. The limit here is what the values of g, x approach as x approaches a. This limit may or may not exist. It is also called the limit of g, x, at a. This graph shows an example where limit g, x, as x approaches a, exists. The function g, x, does not need to be defined at x equals a for the limit to exist. Use the graph of fx to find the limit. The limit fx as x approaches minus 8 is the limit of fx at minus 8. To find it, look at the values of fx as x approaches minus 8. As x approaches minus 8, fx approaches 2. The value of the limit doesn't have to be the same as the value of the function. So, limit of f, x, as x approaches minus 8, equals 2. Use the graph of f, x to find the limit. The limit f of x, as x approaches 0, is the limit of f, x, at 0. To find it, look at the values of f, x, as x approaches 0. As x approaches 0, f, x approaches 6. The value of the limit doesn't have to be the same as the value of the function. So, limit of f, x, as x approaches 0, equals 6. Notice the negative sign after a, this shows what the values of g of x approach, as x approaches are from the left. This is called the left-hand limit of g, x, at a. Here there is a positive sign after a, this shows what the values of g of x approach, as x approaches are from the right. This is called the right-hand limit of g, x, at a. Use the graph to find the limit, f of x, as x approaches 6. The limit f, x, as x approaches 6, has a raised minus sign after the 6. This means it is the left-hand limit of f, x, at 6. To find the limit, look at the values of f, x, as x approaches 6 from the left. As x approaches 6 from the left, f of x approaches 4. So, limit f, x, as x approaches 6, equals 4. The expression has a raised plus sign after the minus 7. This means it is the right-hand limit of f, x, at minus 7. To find the limit, look at the values of f, x, as x approaches minus 7, from the right. 
As x approaches minus 7 from the right, f of x approaches 5. So limit f, x, as x approaches minus 7, is 5. The limit of g of x at a exists, if and only if the following listed here are all true. Does limit f, x, as x approaches minus 9, exist? To see whether limit f, x, as x approaches minus 9, exist, check whether this expression both exist and are equal. First, let's find the left-hand limit. Look at the values of f of x, as x approaches minus 9 from the left. As x approaches minus 9 from the left, f, x approaches minus 6. The function f, x, does not need to be defined at x equals minus 9 for the limit to exist. Next, we find the right-hand limit. Look at the values of f of x as x approaches minus 9 from the right. As x approaches minus 9 from the right, f, x approaches minus 6. Lastly, we determine whether limit f x as x approaches minus 9 exist. The left hand and right hand limits both exist, and they both equal minus 6. So limit f, x as x approaches minus 9 exists and is also equal to minus 6. The limit of a sum of two functions is equal to the sum of the limits. If limit h, x, as x approaches 2, equals minus 1, and limits k, x, as x approaches 2, equals minus 6, what is the value of limit k, x, plus h, x? The limit of a difference of two functions is equal to the difference of the limits. If limit g x as x approaches minus 6 equals 7 and limits k x as x approaches minus 8 equals minus 3, what is the value of limit k x minus g x? The limit of a product is equal to the product of the limits. And the limit of a quotient is equal to the quotient of numerator and denominator's limits provided that the denominator's limit is not zero. If the limits of g of x, h of x, and k of x are given as shown, what is k of x times h of x, minus g of x? If limits of h of x equals 2, and k of x equals minus 7, what is k of x divided by h of x?
the limit of the power of a function is the power of the limit of the function. Where n is a positive integer, and if n is even, we assume that limits of f, x, is greater than zero. If the limit of h of x equals minus 6, as it approaches minus 9. What is limit h of x cube? Solve for the limit shown. In solving for the limit of root functions, find first the limit of the function side the root, and then apply the root. If the limits f of x, g of x, and k of x are given, find g of f times f of x, plus k of x. For more videos and other useful materials, visit us at www.smartchildzone.com forward slash videos. Register your child and have access to our unlimited number of question and answer exercises. Visit www.smartchildzone.com.